Last week, we discussed a little bit about a rumor that came out that the Xbox Series X had overheating issues. This rumor was very quickly debunked. It just came out because a couple journalists had tweeted out how hot the Xbox Series X was running at, that they were burning their hands. It was hyperbole, basically. There was nothing to it. Aaron Greenberg came out and said, no, this is not true. Our engineers have worked this out. It runs at the same heat as the Xbox One X. And we now have proof. Jeff Grubb over at Venture B actually ran a test. So let's go through those numbers real quick just to further debunk this myth and kind of put this to rest once and for all. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. We are the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. We've got videos dropping every single day and we do a podcast each and every single week. Hit that notification button to be informed. We record that podcast live right here on this channel every Friday. You can subscribe to the podcast via iTunes, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. Let's do this. Okay, so Jeff Grubb over at Venture Beep ran a test where he took a thermometer, a thermocouple thermometer, and looked for the hottest vent on the Xbox Series X, the Xbox One, the PS4 Pro, and the new RTX 3080 3900 XT. And he took a look at those temperatures, and this is what he came to his conclusion in doing that. He says, quote, it runs significantly cooler than current gen in the same game. In a Series X oct optimized game, the Xbox still doesn't get as hot as those consoles. It draws between 10 fewer watts from the wall in the same game as the One X while running at a higher frame rate. This is very impressive. This to me shows, I mean, the advance in hardware, the advance in technology, the advanced engineering that Xbox has been able to do to really, really clamp down on things like heat and just run more efficiently etc right so here are the results of his test this is all done in celsius he has maximum temperature average temperature and minimum temperature that he threw up here so on the xbox series x you can see his maximum temperature that it topped out at while he's running a game full blast there was 50 degrees celsius while the xbox one ran at 54 the ps4 pro ran at 65 and the rtx comes in obviously at the coolest at 44 uh the average temperature for the xbox series x was 47 degrees celsius while the xbox one x ran a little bit hotter at 52 degrees celsius and the ps4 pro a little bit hotter than that at 62 degrees celsius while again the rtx came in last the least temperature so this is probably the box sitting running idle was 38 degrees celsius while the xbox one came in significantly hotter at 50 and the ps4 almost double at 60 degrees celsius while the rtx ran again cooler so the rtx i mean is just destroying it in the coolness section but that's really that's really really good in my mind for the xbox series x especially it's running beefier hardware it's pumping out higher frame rates better graphics etc and here's what it looks like when you put that on a chart you can see the xbox series x at the bottom running significantly cooler than the Xbox One X uh, and PS4 Pro. These next generation of hardwares, they're just more efficient, right? Uh, and this finally puts to rest in my mind any overheating issue. This was ran with Hitman 2, uh, a 10 minute test in Celsius. So just to clarify the game that was being used there. But I do think that this was, this is fantastic. And there you go. There you have it. Well done, Jeff Grubb. Well done, Venture Beat, uh, for this, for this information, for running this test. I think this puts to bed any rumors, any thoughts that, oh, the Series X is having uh, overheating issues. So if you ever hear anyone saying that, show them this video. Say, no, that's not true. That's false. Unfortunately, what is it? What's the term? A lie goes around the world once before the truth is found out or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, it was wrong. It's incorrect. Uh, well done again, Jeff Grubb and Venture Beat. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Again, we're the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.